the Lawnsmith and in this video I'm going to show you how to calibrate your spreader for Lawnsmith fertilizers. We already provide settings for the spreaders that you see here. So if you fi find that your spreader is anything different, you'll find that this is a very simple and easy method to follow. We have two grades of fertilizer. We have a mini grade, which you see here. And then there is the standard grade that you see here, which means that when you do come to do your calibration, you're only going to have to do two lots of settings. When it comes down to calibrating your spreader, you do need a fair amount of space. You need at least five meters, 10 to 20 being better. If you need to protect the surface, so if you're using your lawn for this, you can then cover it with something like a thin sheet of polythene, helps you reuse the fertilizer, protects the surface, something like that's available from a builder's merchant quite cheaply. Right, let's get on and calibrate a spreader. So first thing to do is to decide on a start setting for your spreader. I've already put this on number 14. If you're familiar with your spreader, by looking at the fertilizer, you'll have a rough idea of where you need to start. If not, just start on a low setting. Now, I'm gonna put a couple of kilos of fertilizer into the spreader. You need at least that, because if it starts to run low, it's gonna affect your calibration. So, a couple of kilos of fertilizer in. And now we can go and get ourselves in position. I've got a couple of markers on the driveway here. Um, all I need to do is walk up to it, turn it on, and we'll start spreading. It's a nice steady, steady pace there. And as I come up to the marker, I'm going to be turning it off. Turn around, and once again, start walking. As I get to the marker, I'm going to switch on. Now, as I come down, I'm just getting the edge of the fertilizer where it lands into the corner of the wall here because what I now need to do is to measure the width of spread. Now the width of spread is the distance from where the fertilizer lands on the right hand side and where it lands on the left hand side. So I'm the distance from the corner of the wall there to the center of the spreader on this side. So that's coming up to one and a quarter meters which will be exactly the same on this side. So I've got a total of two and a half meters as the width of spread. The next thing I need to do is actually to find out how much fertilizer I've used. To do this, I need to reweigh the fertilizer. So we're gonna take it now and we're just gonna tip it back onto the scales. So we just need to work this out now. We started off with a setting on the spreader of number 14. The length of the spread that we did was 10 meters. We did that twice, so that's 20 meters. And we established it was two and a half meters wide. Multiply the two together, that gives me 50. The weight of the fertilizer when we started off was two kilos, which is 2000 grams. And when we finished, we ended up with one and a half kilos, which is 1500 grams. That means the amount used is 500 grams. So to get the rate per square meter, we're looking at 500 grams used divided by the area. So that actually gives me was 10 grams per square meter. Now, when we, whenever I fertilize a lawn, I do it on the overlap method, which means we apply fertilizer twice in two different directions. So if my rate is 10 grams, overlapping, doing it twice, means that I'm actually going to put on 20 grams. And that's a fantastic starter setting. Right, so we're going to do another set of readings. So this time I'm going to move my dial up one and we're going to set it at number 15. I need to bring my fertilizer back up to two kilos. All right, that's right. Pour that in. And off we'll go and do another set of readings. Right, start just before, as I cross the line, open it up. Steady pace. Shut it off as I cross the line. And same procedure. And shut it off. Now, as we've already done most of the uh, calculations, previously, all I need to do now is to weigh the fertilizer. Right, 
Right, it looks like we've used an extra 100 grams. So once again, let's go through the numbers. Right, so we're now on setting number 15. The spread area that we used is exactly the same as it was before. So that is 50 square meters. The amount of fertilizer we started off with is exactly the same, which is 2000 grams. But we finished up this time with 1400 grams. We used 100 grams more. So we've actually used 600 grams of fertilizer this time. So 600 U's, divide that by the area that we've covered of 50, gives us 12 grams per square meter. Once again, we overlap spread, so that 12 multiplied by two now becomes 24 grams. That's another great setting. All you need to do now is to carry on more settings, and if you're using a different grade of fertilizer, then you need to start the process all over again. Thanks for watching The Lawsmith. Thank you.